welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a little bit about the British educator Charlotte Mason. So you may or may not have heard of Charlotte Mason. You probably have seen many of my videos on my channel here about Charlotte Mason and how we carry out her philosophy in our home, but I wanted to start from the very beginning and help you guys understand who she was, why her work is important, and why so many mothers are choosing to educate their families using the Charlotte Mason method. So for the next few months or so, I'm going to spend some time really deep diving into the Charlotte Mason method and really helping you guys get started because everything I've shared prior to this point is more for those that are familiar with Charlotte Mason and know about her philosophy and know who she was, but I've had so many sweet young mothers reach out to me and ask about how to get started and where where they can find more resources about Charlotte Mason. So today I want to share with you a little bit about who Charlotte Mason was and why her methods and philosophy is important for our family and for so many mothers. So Charlotte Mason was born in 1842. It wasn't until her later years in life that she was able to tell the world about her philosophies. So Mason spent a lot of time in England educating teachers and governesses on her methods. She would translate all of that through a series of lectures, which is now known as home education. She later published all of her lectures in this book and also wrote a lot about her 20 principles, which her method is based off of in her book, A Philosophy of Education. And this is volume six. She actually has uh, four other volumes in addition to the two I just showed you, and all of them are really a culmination of her life's work, and they each have a different purpose, but those are her two main ones that, that are most well-known in the Charlotte Mason circles. Mason's real goal in education was a liberal education for all, and when I say liberal, I mean um, focusing on things other than just reading, writing, and arithmetic, right? She was focused on exposing children of all socioeconomic backgrounds to artists and great works of composers and teaching them how to think and really, really culminating a rich experience, a living education, as she would call it, um, for everyone, not just the ones that were very wealthy that had governesses or went to very fancy schools in England. This was no matter who you are, no matter where you were born or what socioeconomic economic status you had, you deserved a living education. And that is what people refer to when they say the Charlotte Mason feast. It's really just a culmination of so many different layers of a beautiful, well-rounded education. And that really is just, um, you know, the hallmark of her method is a beautiful, rich feast of living ideas using living books. And so anyway, all that to say, um, Charlotte Mason, her life's work was really dedicated to making sure that children could get that education no matter what. And I love that about her. She was actually an orphan herself. Um, and she, I think she was orphaned at the age of 16. Um, and I love that she became a teacher and wanted to help other children. She probably really knew how it felt to be an orphan. And um, I just think it really resonated with her. And so that kind of drove her passion for making sure that children got to have this wonderful, rich education. So um, Charlotte Mason actually wasn't a mother, but she did spend so much of her time pouring into other mothers, pouring into teachers who were with students all the time. And so her life's work, like I said, was spent kind of focusing on that. Her lectures really are what led her to start what we call the Parents Educational Union, and it's called the PEU, and it actually grew, and they changed it to the PNEU, the Parents National Educational Union, and that was just a group of parents, teachers, whether you were homeschooled or went to a specific school or had a governess in your home, um, this is just a group or a network of people that really followed Mason's methods back in you know the early 1900s, late 1800s and they would release programs each year and the program guide is what would show um, what books each grade would be reading. So if you had a first grade student, she actually called her 
um, grades forms, and I have more on that in an, another video, but she would call her grades forms, and so if you have like a first grade student, which was Form 1B, she would release a program for the Form 1B student, and everyone that was part of the PNEU would receive the program and then follow that, whether they were in a school or in a home or whatever. Um, so like I said, it's a method, it's not like a curriculum. Um, and Charlotte Mason and the people that helped her form this PNEU school um, would release a magazine to help everyone be connected or a periodical, I believe they called it at that time. And it was called the PR, the Parents Review. And you'll see PR articles referenced a lot in Charlotte Mason circles because many of the writers were people that, you know, followed her methods back in that day or had interviewed her, talked with her, worked closely with her. And um, so they're really fun to read and, and um, see all the things that they were doing back then. So Charlotte Mason also wrote four other books um, as part of her original homeschooling series. Like I said, she wrote Home Education and a Philosophy of education and these really go over how to teach a child um, and she also had things called 20 prints these things called 20 principles and the 20 principles are referenced in this book and then home education is just what you do when you're with home, at home with your child so this is ages 0 to 6 or the early years um, and so she also wrote four other volumes and so that's a total of six and then she wrote other books too she wrote um, a, a book called Savior of the World, and it's actually about the life of Jesus. And so that's really interesting. Um, so she did have other things that she wrote, but many of her, her, most of her life was spent just dedicated to sharing her method of education based on natural law. So Charlotte Mason just spent most of her life educating parents, educating mothers, kind of calling us up to um, what our true calling is in life. And she did that until she died in 1923. Um, but you know, Charlotte Mason just really, she spoke in such an eloquent way, and if you've ever read any of her volumes, you know that she just had such a passion, such an innate natural passion for um, childhood and really preserving childhood. And I'm not going to get into her philosophy right now because that's for another video. I just wanted you to know who she was today and to kind of understand um, where we're coming from and we say, Charlotte Mason. <laughs> My husband jokes that nobody knows who Charlotte Mason is. She's just this old woman that lived a really long time ago, but that's not what she is to me and to so many other mothers around the world. She's a, a resource she's a, a model for many mothers on how we want to educate our children and her philosophies are really rooted in the philosophies of Christ many of her um, volumes reference the Bible and she we know she was a believer and so um, because of that you know she has this really beautiful pure um, view of childhood and so in my next video, I'll go over things like habit training and the study of natural history and how important that was for Mason and how instruction played such a big part in a child's day, but also how, you know, being out of doors and having leisure time also was part of their day as well. So, um... Anyway, I hope that this video was a little helpful to you. My goal in this channel, and it has been from the beginning, is to help you guys just get a better idea of how you can apply the Charlotte Mason methods in your home and to just to introduce you to Charlotte Mason if you aren't familiar with her. Because when I found her four years ago, it really changed the way that I mothered. It changed the way that I ran my home. And so I love to share that with you all and just really show you that Charlotte Mason doesn't have to be this like really unattainable thing that um, following her methods can be something that even the everyday mom can do in the 21st century so um, hopefully this was helpful you guys I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching